If you're looking to build your first website for your business in 2021, this course is going to teach you step-by-step -step how to do that with Joomla without coding or without any prior experience. So I look forward to you all taking this course. So now we're gonna take a look at another extension and this one is called Quicks. Quicks is another one that allows you to be able to do uh, the same thing. So when you go on this site, you can be able to try it out. They have a free version and they have a pro version. So let's take a look here to edit. When you activate the edit icon, this is what you get. So as you move your mouse, as with uh, Gridbox here, when you move your mouse over certain parts, it let you know what you can be able to edit. So I move my mouse here, I can edit this part. I can edit this section. I can edit everything here. So let's go over a quick rundown or a crash course with Quicks. So when you put your mouse here, this shows you all the pages that you've already created. So it's a lot easier for you to uh, go to another page that you know you want to edit. And then you can be able to click here to create a new page. Let's take a look at this settings. You have three options for the settings here. You have the page settings, which is for the specific page. You have the SEO settings. And then you can also link this particular page to a menu. Now let's take a look at the uh, responsiveness of it. This is the desktop. Let's see what the tablet view looks like. You want to scroll down again. I can never overemphasize. Make sure that you're checking to see how things look on the different devices. So now let's go over to the mobile. And let's just scroll down again. It adjusts accordingly. If you notice, you see the zebra stripes right here. What that means is that this has been disabled for uh, this particular device. So you can have certain items that don't show up on the cell phone and only show up on the desktop. Or if you wanted to run a special on cell phones, right, mobile phones, you can be able to create add-ons that only show up on mobile phones and nowhere else. And then, of course, it's the, uh, the toggle distraction free. So let's go back to the desktop. Now let's take a look here at the setting. So let's go over to... First, the page settings. When you click on there, it gives you the general. You can have the published. You can have the access. Again, all the page builders will give you access control. So if you want to restrict uh, the content of this page to just say specific users, you can do that here. You can also create your own group, your own access group for that. And then, of course, with the languages, you can do that. Uh, Excel, accelerated mobile pages. So the enable um, AMP. This is for mobile, so it's you know it speeds things up and it shows really well on the mobile devices. Which on the back end of Quicks, there's an option for you to see how that works. And then you go over to style. You can choose the type of style that you want. You can choose your age tags. This is the age tags for SEO one, two, three, all the way up to you know six, even more. Uh, then you have your rule type, the typography. You have the font, the weight. Uh, the transform, the style, the decoration. So all these are things that I have, you know, courses that covered extensively how to use that. Now we'll go over to the image optimization. Now this is the one thing that really separates Quicks uh, from the other ones is that it gives you what's called image optimization. Uh, and it shows you right here, this is the Quicks uh, page rank. You know, page rank used to be a big deal years ago, but now it's not really as much of a big deal. But page rank is really great because it shows you the percentage of how well your website has been optimized. In other words, how easy is it for people to find you? Um, are you meeting the certain the guidelines that you know Google and other search engines put out there? So this one is set to enable. And then, of course, you have to advance for those that want to do CSS and some JavaScripts. You have this part to do so here. And then you can always click apply when you are done. And now let's go over to the next one, which is the SEO settings. With the SEO settings, you can put your title, your description, you can put your keywords. If you want to connect this like to your Twitter and Facebook ID, you can do that here as well. And then you can also include an image. So when you send someone a link, this is the image that shows. Then you have your settings for the open graph, which is good to use. Uh, because you can be able to have a little bit more flexibility in terms of your optimization. Then you have the image and then you have your settings here, which I just went through. And then you can also link this particular page to a menu uh, on your site. And then on this side, you can click save. You can click the update scheme, which is going to the schema is going to update this. Uh, as I mentioned before, the quicks rank really shows you what 
percentage or how well your page is optimized. So it's from one hundred from zero to one hundred. The higher this number, the better it is. And if you click image optimization or image optimize here, it's going to go through your entire site and it is going to help you optimize your images. So all the images that have a certain uh, size with it is going to reduce it while maintaining decent quality. Now that's really important because I've seen so many websites that they have a lot of images on there and it's not optimized. So it takes a long time for the websites to actually load. So you want to make sure that your images are optimized and this one you can optimize or you can re optimize. And there's nothing there now because we don't really have any um, thing here. So you can come in when you put your mouse over, you click on this row section. You can click to edit the column gap. You can move it over to advance. You can edit each item style. And as you're going to see, this is going to make a lot more sense later on as we start to work on. And you can drag and drop and move the things to different section um, of the site. So you scroll all the way to the bottom. They have a little help menu here for you to find out some of the basic things. And then you can also page preview. You can preview your page to see what that looks like. So this gives you an overview of quicks and you can click here to close the page. This gives you a quick overview of how it works. Again, I have a tutorial that goes extensively uh, over everything that you need to learn how to create, how to build. Now let's take a look at this here. So if you wanted to add a new row, you click to add a new row at that. And I wanted to add, let's say, element. Now, quick use was called element. You know, that some call it add on, some call it elements, well, whatever it is, plugin, they allow you to add more features to your site. So these are all the ones that they have. You have the, the free version, and then this is the pro one. So some of these here, if you don't have the pro uh, package, you will not be able to use it. And my goal of it is I want to keep everything simple, make sure that it's uh, you get to use just a free type. So you scroll through here, any one of these that you want to add, you click on it, and it's going to add it. You can be able to make whatever necessary changes, hide it, or you can show it and customize it. So that's Quicks for you. And they also have the template, have a template uh, part of it that you can be able to add your template. And just scroll down here. So you click to add section. And let's go to add template. When you add a template, you have options here. This is section, you have pages, and you have my templates. My templates are the ones that you've already designed and you want to save for later on. But section, when you click this drop down here, it shows you how to build a website a lot quicker with just drag and drop. So instead of you having to create, let's say, an about us section, when you click here, you can just drag and drop any one of these pre designed sections and just edit the content that's on there. And we're going to take a look at sections when we start to build a website. So you scroll down here, you want newsletter. It shows you the newsletter type, uh, pricing, and then you go to pages. Pages are full websites that have been designed. If you're trying to figure out what to do or you don't really want to build anything from scratch, you can come here and just click insert and choose the design that you like. And from this design, you can be able to just edit the content on there and you are done. Just as simple as that. So that's why I said page builders really helps you to build sites faster. So you can imagine, you know, several years ago, it takes you, it can take you like, you know, a few hours, sometimes days to really get the site that you're looking for. But now with just one click, you click insert. And just like that, you have a brand new website.